Thank you. Hello. Mm. Hi guys, I'm so sorry, it's my first live and it's crazy here. Hi guys, I'm so sorry, it's my first live and it's crazy here. Ouch. Hi Kiri, hi Sylvia, hi Debra. Hi Kiri, hi Sylvia. Hi everybody, Bo. Hi Julia. How are you guys doing today? Oh, I don't know how to stop that from. I'm sorry, guys. I'm at my parents, so this is not actually my. Crafty uh, setting, so. Sorry for the quality. I'm trying to do it with my cell phone and it's just Sorry giving me a fit. Quality. Thank you, Julia, for the tip. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so I'm going to share with you some of the things that I made, and uh, you guys let me know what do you want to do, and uh, I'm going to let you know, since I'm streaming from a cell phone, the quality might not be the best, so go to your settings, and then uh, on your settings, just go to quality, and bump it up to 720, so it goes HD. Hi Ricky, hi Robert, hi Diane. How are you guys doing? Are you all self doing the self quarantine? Well, Citrus Heights, California. Hi Veronica, thank you so much for joining. Alrighty, so I um, share with some of you a template of this little. Um, Policy envelope. I actually made a template so you guys could make your own. I used some little envelopes that I bought at Tuesday morning and that's what I used to decorate this little one. But um, I made one that you could use and it's actually something like this. So if you guys don't have it, make sure that you email me and email me to uh, if you go to my about uh, section on my channel you're going to find an email there you can email me if you want to request the template this is going to be free for all my subscribers and you can actually get four of them from one page this is not printed at actual size because i'm using my parents printer and it was a little bit whacked so but it's going to come all the way over here the policy envelope is going to be a little smaller than the one i used but it's still super cute. So, oh, Sylvia, you're trucking? Where are you going? And you're in Florida and you're looking. Actually, I heard today that they were going to probably do mandatory lockdown here in Florida too. And honestly, I think it's going to be a good idea because things seem to be getting out of hand crazy. So I'm going to share with you here some embellishments that I already made. And then you guys let me know if you want to make a, 
If you want to decorate some of the uh, policy envelopes, I'll decorate some of those, but I want to share with you some of them that I already made. I went crazy because uh, I'm locked up and I had a lot of time on my hands. I'm actually with my parents. I moved in with them because, as you know, my mom had been having a lot of health issues. So I didn't want them to be alone. So I came over here uh, three days ago and I've been eating a lot. <laughs> wow, Alaska, Julia, you're in Alaska. Yeah, we're all hunkering down. Hi, uh, Monica, welcome. Hi, Julia. Guys, we have to sing happy birthday to Monica. It's Monica's birthday and she's actually spending it with us today. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, sweet Monica. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for joining us uh, for the live and your birthday. Veronica, did you grew up in Alaska? Oh, wow. I've never been to Alaska. I have to go over there. Yeah, so, uh, what tiny paper, Jania? Hello, Stephanie from Missouri. Welcome. I want to thank you for joining us, Monica. I'm so happy you're here. Oh, the paper cutter. <laughs> yeah, I saw it on Tuesday morning. I just love the color, so I got it because of it. And I have to tell you, it's one of my favorite um, cutters. It cuts really, really nice. The guillotine is super amazing. So as you see over here, guys, I've been a little busy making embellishments because I'm just kind of like trying to spend time over here. So I made several. I'm using some rosettes and Crepe paper rosettes and heart rosettes. I think these are adorable. And this would be great to send for happy mail, but this was also this would also be great to just decorate projects with. So this I actually made using uh these little envelopes here that I got from Tuesday morning. I really like this little sack. They're already made, and they come 25 in a pack for only 149. So it's super, super amazing. <laughs> Hi, sweet Cheryl. Welcome. Oh, I'm so happy to have you here, guys. <laughs> I wish we could do karaoke or something. Have a party. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julia. They're really fun to make. I really love making rosettes and decorating these little uh, policy envelopes is super, super easy and a lot of fun. So actually I'm going to start putting together some of the ones that I made um, with my template. So you guys can see kind of like how I decorate them. They're super, super easy to make, to put together and super fun to decorate. So guys, what are you doing for food? I've been eating like crazy and my parents, my mom is cooking and I, I actually don't know how to cook. So <laughs> I'm going crazy because we cannot get out and uh, we eat a lot. <laughs> oh, thank you, Cheryl. I really like the colors too. They're super sweet. Oh, thank you, Monica. So happy you like them. So, okay, let me see what we're going to do here. And I apologize again, this is my first live, so I'm all over the place. I don't even know what I'm doing. So I already cut these little envelopes that I printed. So I cut them in this paper. And then I also made a template with poster board. And what I did is I just traced on poster board this area here. 
and I just got it. And this, I used to cut the um, paper that I used to decorate this area over here. So it makes it a lot easier. You go super quick this way. And then if you don't want to cut the rounded area, what you can do here is just cut it straight and punch with a corner uh, punch. And it would be a lot easier. But this is super easy to do. How to make the heart? Sure. You guys want to do the heart first? Um, let's do um, a heart real quick. That one is a super, super quick one. So this is what I do. I actually just cut a little piece of paper. And depending on the size you want it, is the size you're going to cut the width of the paper. Mm, that's what I'm gonna have to trim a little more because it doesn't fit my cutter here. But this is how you do it. I'm going to cut, uh, I'm going to make this one into a one and a quarter one. So I'm going to cut here I one and a quarter. And this is probably going to be a little too wide for it. And we'll see. So then this is what we're going to do. You're going to grab your scoreboard. Ooh, beef stew. That sounds good. Sandwiches. <laughs> I usually eat sandwiches, Sylvia, but with my mom, I'm eating a lot of veggies and a lot of like homemade cooks. So I'm probably going to be super healthy here when I leave. Hi, Susan. Welcome. So nice to have you here. Oh, wow. So, Molly Cat, you know how to cook? Oh, you know what? I found some good fish at Sands of all places. And actually, don't believe me. It's not me who says that. <laughs> I don't cook, so I couldn't really give you good advice. But my mom... And my brother, they said that it was really good fish. It was packed already, but it's organic and it doesn't have any preservatives. And it's really, really uh, good, really tasty and very easy to cook. So guys, once you have your strip of paper, you're going to score it at a quarter inch all the way through. So we're going to be scoring here at a quarter inch. And... Oh no, Jania. Oh, thank you so much for joining us anyways. Um, and I hope you can come back. <laughs> thank you. It's so nice to see you here. Oh. Alrighty, so I'm going to Oh, pork roast. Actually we ate pork for lunch today. My mom made some pork too and with mushrooms in. It was really good. <laughs> so, let's see. Hi, Nancy. So nice to see you. How are you doing? Guys, this is a lot. Uh, this is a little crazy for me because I am not a very fast crafter. I am kind of like a OCD. So I had to take a lot of time. Kind of like to make sure that I do things the way I want them. And now doing a live, <laughs> I have to hurry up. So forgive me if this turns out really crazy. So this is what I do after I um, score all around my piece at a quarter inch intervals. Then I'm going to fold it in half. So... Ooh, this is a little messy over here. Sorry, guys. So once I fold it in here, I'm going to draw like a little fish in here. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. It's going to look kind of like uh, the fish from um, those little crackers. I don't remember how you call them right now. So you just, I leave usually like a little space in here big enough so it's not going to rip my piece of paper. And then I start kind of like doodling the shape of the fish. You know, like those golden fish crackers? Sort of like that. So then once you have it like that, you kind of like cut it. 
and this is not perfect science. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can uh, you can reshape it once you cut it. So once I do this, you're going to have a bracket shape, sort of like this, and you can change change the shape of your rosette of your hot hot rosette if you change the angles of your cut. So if you make it more pronounced, you're going to have a different heart shape. If you make them uh, slightly or less pronounced, it's going to change your heart. But it's super, super easy to make. These things are so easy to make. So you're going to fold them like that. Oh, thank you so much, Shan. Nice to see you here. Oh. Peanut butter and, oh, Stephanie, that's a great idea. Yeah, we bought a lot of that and some of those tuna pouches and things like that to have kind of like have things that don't get, uh, that are going to last longer because with this craziness, you never really know what's going to happen. So you have to have some food on hand that it's not going to be spoiled pretty soon. Oh, sorry guys, this is kind of like getting crazy here. I don't know how it's cord in here. Alrighty. So this is how it's going to look once you fold it. Oh my gosh, Nancy. <laughs> I packed my car full. I only packed like a little <laughs> suitcase with clothes. And then I packed a, a trunk and the seats full of stuff, of craft stuff, crafting supplies. It's just crazy. I still have so many cards that I haven't been able to get out because I don't want to be around people. And uh, yeah, so once you have this um, folded like that, you're going to need to cut um, some circles. And I'm going to let you know, I'm going to show you guys here. I have, sorry if it's, ah! This is a mess. Alrighty, so over here, I brought some things that I already made before. So this is what I like doing. I like making some of the things that I want to use for um, decorating embellishments. I make a lot of like little rosettes. Sometimes I sit down and make them. So I have several heart, heart rosettes here. So this is what you can do. You can either uh, cut like a heart shape to put your rosette together, or you can do it with a little uh, circle shape like this. So I have several of them here that I already pre-cut and I have to tell you I use uh, poster board for this little round shapes or anything I'm going to use to close my rosettes because uh, it makes them a lot a lot sturdier so then you're going to and I'm going to let you know something else I do here some of you guys, I know that when you're doing rosettes, you just put two of them together like this and fold them. I don't do it like that. Maybe my method is a little more difficult, but oh well. <laughs> Hi, my sweet Bonnie. So nice to see you. <laughs> oh. Shepherd's pie. I wish I could cook, guys. Well, I'm sorry. Honestly, I don't... I've never wished that. It's so stressful to me. I've never figured it out. I don't know how. You, how um, I have friends, and sometimes my husband he tells me like it's so relaxing. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't understand how that can be relaxing. Cooking? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like packaging them like that, Nancy, because it's super easy. You already have them over there, and then you can decorate whatever you're doing super super easy hi robin nice to have you here hamburger oh wow i'm sorry guys i'm <laughs> reading the chat instead of crafted oh uh, i know cheryl <laughs> i made some of them like that a lot of them because it's easier to decorate your projects hi nida hi my sweet nida it's so nice to have you here i'm so happy you joined oh so happy to see you hi Donna. welcome 
I'm sorry if I'm on frame. So this is what I do. I add a little bit of glue to the edge of it there. So I don't glue the, this whole area together. And I'm going to have to add a little more glue here because it's not going to be as I want it. So I hold it here a little bit until it grabs. Oh, I'm so sorry, Naiva. What's wrong with your hosepin? Ouch. I hope it's nothing really bad. Oh. Wow, in the hospital for three weeks? Was it his heart? So after, I'm sorry. So after you have it glued, after it grabs, then you're going to place it on your table and then just give it the shape. I usually, you can actually kind of like reshape it to the way you want it to, how to look like. You can make it look like a little wider, a little uh, thinner like this, a little longer, a little shorter. So then this is what you're going to do. You're going to grab one of your little circles. Yes, Nida, we'll be praying for your husband. I'm so sorry about that. That is so sad. I know, I'm all Tuesday morning, Nancy. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> then I'm going to actually grab my heart, my little heart, and I'm going to place it. This is not how I do it at home. I usually take a lot more time, but I just want to make, uh, be able to do one on camera with you guys. So I'm just going to place it on top of the little circle. And I'm going to leave it press over there for a little while. Ouch. To make sure that it grabs. Actually, I have to make sure that. I am so sorry. I probably should have used a larger circle here. So I'm going to turn it to the other side and grab it like this to make sure that it's holding whatever I want it to hold. And then I'm going to go back to my table and press it like that. Oh, I hope your husband is better soon. Oh, infections in his pacemaker. Wow, that's scary. Yeah, I was with my mom at the hospital and she was in a cardiac unit. It was the scariest thing ever. I mean, I, wow. I don't even want to think about that one. Oh, thank you so much, Nancy. Oh, we will be praying for your husband, um, Nida. I hope they get the infection under control. That's so scary. Oh, wow. Wow, septic shock. That's just like, ugh. I'm sorry I'm crafted in here. Like, I don't know why, but when you craft live, it's completely different when, than when you do it at home by yourself. It's crazy. Alrighty, so now I'm going to add the other circle here Ooh. and I'm actually adding a little more uh, a small circle here because I don't want the circle to show a lot because then when I decorate it I don't want to have to cover a lot of my heart because of the little circle being too big so I'm going to press it over here until it dries and Oh, thank you so much, Nancy. I'm so, so nervous right now. You have no idea. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, my sweet uh, Naida. Oh, oh, you're so sweet. I, I really appreciate you guys. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate your friendship, your love, your support. You're just amazing. Oh. <laughs> No, you have to see my craft room, especially right now when I was leaving. I was packing really quick, like crazy, because I was in a hurry to get to my parents and I was trying to fit the whole craft room inside my car. So it's a mess right now. I don't think I have a place to walk through in there. Oh, I'm so sorry, Nida, that your husband was sick. Oh, oh thank you, Monica. Oh, thank you so much, my sweet Cheryl. So this is how your heart should look once. I am going to actually add more glue here. It's crazy. 
be. So how are you guys doing? What are you doing to spend the time now that we're all like hunkering down? So I'm gonna make sure that this wraps really well here. <laughs> Your craft room is out of control, Nancy. <laughs> Oh, thank you, sweet Judy. I'm so happy that you've learned some from my videos. That's one of the things that I really uh, like about making them. About, uh, it makes me so happy that some of my videos are helpful to you guys. That is so amazing. Thank you so much. Okay. So. Oops. Should have been a little different. So once I have it um, glued, set, what I do is with this little um, edge over here, I just trim it a little bit so it doesn't look um, too crazy over there. And then while it's, while it's still drying, you can still reshape it a little bit to make it look sort of like any way you want it. And this one looks like a little leaf. <laughs> So this is how I, uh, what I what I tell you that depending on how you draw your little fish, if you draw like a a, a, a bigger angle or something, then your heart changes. It can be wider, it can be thinner, it can be longer, it can be smaller. But then you have your little heart rosette. <laughs> Super easy to make. This ones are really really easy. It was a little crazy here because. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm still nervous, guys. Oh, thank you, my sweet Susan. Yes, Tiffany, definitely watching YouTube videos and crafting. That's one good way to um, kind of like spend the time that we have to be locked up. Oh, oh, you want to make my adorable hair and body? Oh, thank you. I tell you, it's so easy to make them, and actually, I'm crazy about doing uh, top of animals right now. I made this little sheep here, and it's so easy and cute to make. And uh, I made it, and I put it on my uh, husband's uh, nightstand, and he's like, oh my gosh, it looks like a little rat. <laughs> I'm like, you're so mean, it doesn't look anything like that, it's a little sheep. But it's so cute, they're so easy to make. Oh, you're making flower embellishments. Yeah, I'm actually one. I actually want to make flowers. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Actually, that is one of the reasons I wanted to do the live. It's kind of crazy because <laughs> I don't have any of my settings here, but I just wanted to keep everyone's minds off of things, make it a little lighter, so we can go through this a little easier because it's really stressful. Oh, thank you, Nancy. <laughs> I love that little shape too. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do a tutorial, but I'm going to mail you this little guy. I'm going to send it to you in the mail. So email me. I have, I think I have your address, but email it to me again so I can find it easier. <laughs> Once I am able to go back to the post office, I'll mail it to you. Oh, and I'm going to let you know, know guys, we're going to have a giveaway today for all of you who are here live with me. So, um, after the live is over, I'm going to pick up a winner. I'm going to figure out how to draw it, how to find a program to draw it. And it's going to be a $40 gift certificate for an online uh, craft store. So um, thank you. Thank you so much for being here with me. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Naida. I hope this video helps you a little bit to get your mojo back. Aww. Alrighty, so let's put together one of this, and then we're, oh, you know what? We can do also flowers because I got a punch that I was making some flowers with, and those are pretty easy. So this is how I put together my little um, policy envelope template. I'm going to just core all around this. And this actually, I didn't do it right, so I'm going to just show you how to cut it so it's actually the way it has to be so 
I'm going to score all around it and then I'm going to fold it and when I fold it here I'm going to trim at an angle here I actually left all this flat all the way through and I shouldn't have done that I should have cut over here in the center so what you have to do is you have to trim this that little bit over there and actually I'm going to trim all the way so I can read all the print lines the printing lines so they don't show up oh I have a mess here Oh, we're going to use this heart to decorate this one. So I'm going to fold it here like this. And then I'm going to fold this one here like this. And fold this like that. Oh, thank you, my sweet Nancy. No, you guys are the best. I so appreciate you guys and all the love you sent to me all the time. Hi, my sweet Deborah. Oh, so happy to see you here. Oh, so uh, before I close this, I actually am going to um, use my little template to cut this little area here, the area down, the paper that I'm going to use to decorate. So let me pick one. I already have some paper kind of like pre-cut in here so I don't um, take forever and you guys don't get bored. Hi, Carolyn. Welcome! Actually, I have a video on how to make the little a bunny and you're going to see it at the top of the screen because I think I put it on the card. And then I'm going to make a video so you guys learn how to make this little cutie. <laughs> this is so adorable. And it's so easy to make. It's so, so, so stinky cute. And I love the little legs and everything. Just came out so cute. Well, I think it came out so cute. So oh, let's see, I'm going to use this. So what paper can I use here for that? That kind of like goes with it better. Hmm. This one's not gonna show much. So I'm going to probably have to use a, maybe this one for this area down. And then, We'll have to give it some contrast. So, oh, thank you, Monica. I'm so sorry. I uh, I don't know. Don't don't feel pressure. Go take your call if you need to. Cause I, I understand. Oh, oh, thank you so much, Monica. And I'm so happy you're spending your birthday with us. I cannot believe that. You're so sweet. Oh, oh, thank you, my sweet Deborah. Welcome. Welcome, Carlene. Oh, well, actually, over here is 525. I'm on Eastern Standard Time uh, in Florida. So, yeah. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. I thought you turned out so cute. <laughs> oh, yes, guys, if you need a template, the free template, please email me to the email I gave you so I can um, send it to you. And actually, I'm using the wrong paper here. I am going to. Oh, I'm not sure what papers I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use this one for the top. Yeah, so this is, ouch, sorry. So this is how I'm doing it. I made this template out of, out of a poster board. So it's super easy. I don't waste any paper. And then I can cut. And what I do here is I have the line here, but I'm going to cut it a little long a, a little longer here because that way it's going to go a little more into my little pocket. Oh, I'm gonna get this here. I'm gonna put this one here. Uh, oh, you're in Florida too, Judy! Oh wow, that's awesome. Where in Florida? Are you Central Florida or where? 425 in Missouri. Oh, well over here is getting a little warmer. Uh, also, Deborah, because it's getting to, into the spring weather. So it's getting in the 80s. 
over 80s already so and this is how I cut this circle <laughs> I tried to do it really quick so I'm sure it's not going to be right but I can correct it what to do is I'm going to trim here at an angle so it doesn't show and I'm going to place my paper here and then I'm going to correct anything on the side once I have it glued. Indiana! Oh wow! Puerto Rico, 525. Oh, you're in Lake County. Oh, awesome! Do you go, do you come over to the parks often? I live in Florida and everybody who doesn't live here, they all want to come to visit the parks. I tell you, I haven't been to <laughs> any theme park over here in years. I used to pay for the tickets for yearly uh, admission and I never used them. I think I haven't been to a theme park over here and wow, I cannot even remember. It's crazy. Oh. Oh, Northern Lights. I want to use. I want to go check out the Northern Lights. Mm. Oh, you're in Vegas, Monica. I love Vegas because it's warm over there, but it's not humid. My hair is always perfect over there. I don't have to worry about it. Over here in Florida, it's crazy. It's so humid that your hair is always freezy. It's just crazy. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to trim any excess there on both sides. And you can see here how easy it is if you use a template, how much faster it makes it. So you can cut this here and you don't waste paper either. So now we're going to fold it here. And I'm going to actually do something here. This one I am going to re-score on the side here so it gives me a little more length because the way I folded it, it's going to turn sort of like a little short on the side. So I'm going to refold it like that and then perfect. I have this the way I want it over here. So now I can actually glue this and then I'm going to measure and cut the little piece to finish this one. I'm going to show you today guys uh, um, real quick how to make some flowers using scallop punches that are going to uh, turn out super super cute. I was so surprised. So you don't really need to have like flower punches to make your own flowers. Thank you so much, my sweet Maida. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The, the skin is the issue because you get um, your skin gets really dry. But oh my gosh, I just like humidity in Florida gets so crazy. Nancy, you know about it, right? And uh, Jody, it gets so crazy that sometimes it's like you're like no. Alrighty, let me see what I'm going to do here. I think this heart is going to be a little too big for my little um, pocket here. So I'm going to use something different for it. But let's see, what paper do I want to use to decorate this? Aww. Thank you. I think, no. I didn't cut many of these papers, but... This is going to be the guy. Like this one. When you're uh, decorating things, do you usually have something on, on your mind? Like you already pick up all the papers that you're going to use and how it's going to look and all that? Or do you just bring out everything that you can think of and then just start grabbing things around and um, end up choosing what you're going to use? I usually don't. Um, I don't plan. I kind of like have an idea of what I want to do. 
but I don't have like I want to use exactly this paper or anything like that. I bring out everything and then I start doing it. Okay, so just one measures almost two, one, two, three, almost two and three eighths by let's see three and one eight. So two and three eighths by three and one eight. And we should have the piece we need here. Guys, I have a curious question. Do you guys like karaoke? <laughs> no, Nancy, I don't I don't really write them down. Usually what I do, honestly, is I just look at the things that I have, the supplies, and then I get my ideas from them. I kind of like look at what I have and I get some ideas in my mind of what I want to do with them, but I, I don't really plan them. I know there's people who even um, have like sketchbooks and all that, and I admire that so much. I've never been able to do it. Yes, Naida, those are perfect for journaling. I'm sorry, I'm reading your <laughs> your comments over there and I, I don't I'm not crafting. Oh you're using rat polka dot, is it Cheryl? Oh no, don't worry, believe me, if I wouldn't be if I were not live with you guys, <laughs> it would have taken me a lot longer to do what I did. I'm not a uh, fast crafter. Never been. Alrighty, so this one I cut a little too long. I didn't measure it right. So, I'm going to give you guys one of my secrets. <laughs> I don't really like measuring with uh, rulers and stuff. It's just, I don't have the patience. So what I do is just, I place it and I just nick the paper a little bit with my nails. <laughs> And then I got where to go. So you can see how scientific it is. <laughs> oh, you know what, Nancy? Mine, a lot of the times, come out different than the way I see them. But then I keep working at them until I get them the way I want them. <laughs> I, I rarely, sometimes I... At the beginning, I always want to throw things away because I'm like, oh, this is not the way I wanted it. But then I keep working on it and kind of like make it look the way I want it. Alrighty. So let's see. Oh, Julia, thank you so much for joining us. It's so, so nice to have you here. Thank you, thank you. A lot of love. Stay healthy and safe. Ah, the envelope here, this envelope, um, it is almost three and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three and seven eighths in length. And then it is two and a quarter inches in width. So I hope that's helpful, Naida. Oh, thank you so much, Monica. I really love the uh, Maggie Holmes collections. They have such great papers and great paper in general. They have such beautiful papers. The colors, I love how they um, pair their colors together. And also Frank Garcia, oh my God. <laughs> oh, Nancy, you sing good. I wish we could do karaoke. <laughs> I love karaoke. You know, they are like uh, New Year's parties and all that. We always do karaoke and we, everyone fights for the microphone. It's hilarious. Yes, Monica, it's a lot faster way to do it. I don't really have the patience for uh, rulers. Oh, I'm not a perfect singer either. I just love just screaming it out. <laughs> Oh, you know, uh, now that you talk about playing American Idol, uh, one of uh, our parties, I think it was my brother's party, 
we made it like American Idol style, and then we made even the little lanyards, and we had a jury, and it was so hilarious. <laughs> Alrighty, so I like how it's looking, but I don't like how the two of them kind of like clash here. So I'm going to do, do something here for this, and I'm going to use that. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, this is not exactly what I thought it was. No, I don't think I like this here. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's funny. And we also do like prizes for whoever sings better and all that. It's hilarious. And I have a 95 year old aunt and she goes crazy for karaoke, and actually, she's always fighting with my brother for the microphone. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I got this paper here. We'll use it in a minute. Okay, so what am I going to use for this? I think I'm going to add a little gold here to kind of like help the transition of the two colors because it's like I don't like how it looks like that. Oh, I'm going to trim here a little bit. <laughs> yes, singing and dancing gets better for uh, people when they, uh, once they have like a drink or two. It's hilarious. I don't drink honestly, but not because I don't. I don't have anything against social drinking. I just, I'm like my mom. If I smell alcohol, I get drink just from hell, smelling it. I get drunk just from smelling it, so, and I'm so silly, I really don't even need to, <laughs> it's hilarious, alright, so, I'm going to, yes, I think this is going to look much better like that, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it there, turn it around, I'm going to put it in there, trim it, <laughs> all right so let's see i know Anaida, it's so hilarious and she really loves doing it she loves singing and the funniest part is that she doesn't have the best boys out there but it's so cute to listen to her and to see her she really kind of like gets into the part and all that it's hilarious Oh, Cheryl, thank you for asking about my mom. She's doing much better. She's in treatment right now. It was really scary because she, we thought that she was going to have to have a procedure when we had to take her to the hospital. It was the scariest thing. They had to rush in and they told me we had to call a rapid t uh, response team because your mom's going into bradycardia. Her pulse is, uh, rate is so low and all that. It was just the scariest thing. Uh, thankfully, it actually got uh, uh, under control. She had some kind of arrhythmia, but it, uh, finally they found out that it was related to some of the medications that she was taking. So she's doing a lot better now. Um, taking care of herself and all that, but a lot better now. Thank you for asking, my sweet Cheryl. I really appreciate it. Aww. Alrighty, so now that I have this, what do I want to do with this? I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to see what I have in here. Yeah, this is actually Art Glitter Glue, and I think this bottle is from Stampendous. I got this bottle online, I think it, on Amazon, for like a dollar or so, and I like them because you squeeze them, they're really nice. You can squeeze them really easy. Sometimes there are some bottles that are, are really hardened. I don't like those. But this is perfect because I keep my um, art glitter glue there. So let me see where did I put my little envelope. Let's see what we're going to do here with this. Hmm. No. Oh, I've also been making this kind of parts. I just love how they look. And I make them with poster boards, so they're really sturdy. I really, really love them. So I made tons of them to keep so I can decorate. 
Let me see. Hmm. No. Aha. What can I do? What can I use? Oh, you know what? Maybe we can put another one of those favorite rosettes. Maybe we can use a small one. This is another thing I do. I kind of like make a lot of rosettes and I just keep them on hand so I don't have to make them all the time. It saves so much time. Yeah, I think this one I like. And I'm probably going to use something here like a little heart. Oh, thank you so much for joining us, Tiffany. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> oh, thank you, Deborah. Yeah, we're so happy my mom is doing so much better. It was really, really scary. Really, really scary. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Yeah, the storage case, guess where I had it, where I got it from. <laughs> my favorite place, Tuesday morning. Alrighty, so I'm going to do this one here to decorate on the side here. And then I'm going to see if I can find something. Maybe like, yeah, like that. And on the side like that, because it's, so it's a little more interesting. Let me see if I can find something here. Like this. Thank you, my sweet Monica. Yeah, I like doing it uh, like that. I sit down and I kind of like make a stash of things and uh, that way it's a lot easier when you want to decorate. You just pick things out and it makes it a lot, much faster. So maybe so sweet. Shine bright. Oh, happy little moments. Okay, so what do we put in here? And I'm going to probably do the pink one so it has, ah, let's do the happiness is here. Oh wow. I thought it was pink pink, but it's not. Alrighty, so this is what I'm going to do. Yeah, we really need to stay busy right now. Oh, this is perfect for here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to use maybe a little bit of gray poster board because, or well, maybe this one here. Oh yeah, I'm going to use some of this here. I don't have to use the paper. I didn't bring white cardstock. Can you guys believe that? I couldn't believe it either. I was like, what did you do? I almost wanted to go back home. Alrighty, so. I usually use stickers and I like backing them up. I really love backing them up. Okay, guys, let's do something. Let's, how do we do so we can pick up a winner? I think I was going to do the drawing after the, um, after the live stream, but what I want to do now is maybe figure out a way so we all can vote and pick a winner today. So give me some ideas. How can we do it so we can pick out a winner for my giveaway today for the live stream? Something that you guys can vote on. So this is what I like doing. I like backing the, um, stickers because it makes them sturdier and it makes them look better so I'm going to place that one here and this one is going to be good to go oh thank you so much my sweet Cheryl oh thank you my sweet Nida so I hope you guys like it <laughs> you should have guessed Nancy oh yeah 
You know me. <laughs> oh, well, but Bunny, it's a good thing that you have Tuesday morning. After I discovered Tuesday morning, honestly, I stopped going anywhere else. I don't, I barely go to Michael's or um, Joanne's or anywhere else. Okay, so here. I'm gonna put this one on the side like that so it gives it more interest. And then I'm going to add some glue to the side of this here. do something here for the back. So, oh yeah. Random picker. Yeah, I was thinking about using random picker, but I think um, I want to do it together here on the live. Like, we guys pick one winner together. So, I'm not sure how we do it and I like using the phone foam instead of the 3d dots because it's a lot less expensive and you can actually die cut this on any shape so if you have shapes that you want to put um, some dimension to it's a lot better if you use fun foam because you cut them and it goes right it cuts right the shape of whatever you're making so Honestly, this crafting live is crazy. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Caroline. Thank you for joining us today. I think now that I think about it, you guys are right. I'm going to have to do the uh, random comment comment picker because there are some of you guys I have to leave and I don't want you guys to miss uh, the chance to participate for it. So I'm going to have to do it that way. I'm going to have to do the random picker. So this is our little policy envelope and you can add some things in here that you can put on your mini albums and to decorate, etc. So this is super easy to make. And are any of you guys doing the self-quarantine by yourselves? Are you alone? You know what? How do you guys like the little policy envelope? Oh, thank you, Nida. Oh, thank you, my sweet Bonnie. So happy you like it. And I'm going to show you now, guys, something that I I haven't made before of uh, flowers using punches. And then I had a little punch, a little scallop punch, this little scallop punch. I got it. I got it at Tuesday morning also, <laughs> and uh, I was like, "Oh, I think I can make a little flower with this," and it's so so nice. It's going to be a little difficult here though because I don't have foam, but I guess I'm going to use this instead. So let's make a little flower, and I'm going to use this paper here. So, so this is what we're going to do with this one. If you have a scallop punch of any size, this is so easy. You're just going to cut every two little um, scallops here. You're going to cut at an angle, but not all the way to the end. Just leave a space in the end, kind of like it makes a circle. So I'm going to cut here again. And then I'm going to, I think maybe if I do it this way, it's easier for you guys to see. And then you're going to cut again. It's going to give it kind of like a little heart shape. You're a heart shape, but you're not going to go all the way to the end. So you're going to do that. And 
I'm so glad you guys are not alone. So now that I have that one, I'm going to turn it not to the side that has the printed uh, area, but this side. And then you're going to start kind of like rounding your little petals. Rounding your little petals. Super easy. Oh, thank you so much, Monica. I'm so glad you're home with your family, Susan. Oh, thank you. These are so super easy to make, and it's um, something that you can do with your scraps. And that's one of the things that I like, because I have so much scraps. So you're going to turn it to the other side, and then just kind of like, Roll your um, stylus in the center only. And then I do it again. Again. This is so cute. This one is harder to see because of the print. But it kind of looks like a little, little cute flower. Let me see if I can just sort of like shape it a little bit here so you can see it better. I'm going to roll it a little more on this side. Oh, thank you, Bunny. <laughs> I get that one again on Tuesday morning. It was on sale. It was really inexpensive. I think I got it for like 40 some dollars. Something like that. Alrighty, so now I don't think I have a little um what did you call that? I don't have the little beads here that I can use to decorate so I'm going to have to use this hmm. I'm going to have to do something here. I am going to have to do this. look so much better with a little bead but I don't I didn't bring those with me I'm so mad. I'm so upset I didn't but it's so easy to make flowers using your punches I'm going to make a bigger one so it's easier for you guys to see and uh alrighty guys I'm going to have to finish with one of the flowers and then I'm going to have to go because I have my parents kind of like locked off <laughs> But thank you so much for coming and spending the time with me. And let me see where I put my punch. Ah. Where is my other scallop punch? Alrighty, let's see if we can do this. Different paper, see how it looks. I'm not so sure. Thank you so much, uh, Susan and Deborah and everyone. Naida, Monica, all of you guys, Nancy, Janina, so glad you had to leave. Carolyn, everyone, Jody. 
I am so happy you spent some time with me. It's honestly very helpful because it's really stressful. I came to spend uh, the quarantine with my parents because I was so worried that they were going to be by themselves, isolated for that long. I couldn't take it. So my husband was like, no, you just go over there, spend the time with them, and uh, that way we'll make sure that they're okay. And I can't tell you, I'm so thankful for my husband because I don't know what I would be doing right now. Crazy, crazy. I don't know if I can do this like this with this one because this is not what I usually use at home. But I wanted to show you guys that you can make super pretty flowers using your um, scallop punch. Hi, Kasari Paper! Nice to see you here. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, I hear you, Monica. It's just like, I love my family to pieces and all that, but yeah, you need a distraction because I think it, it gets to a point where everyone wants to just climb the walls. It's crazy. Sorry guys, crafting live is really <laughs> difficult. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, my sweet Chan. I just think it's like um, I'm letting you guys know because I feel like it's not very good, but Yeah, this one's not turning out the way I wanted, but I wish you could see the smaller one. You can make really cute flowers using your scallop punches. Hmm. I guess I'm going to do like that. Then I'm going to actually put a sequin in here since I can't do anything else if I can find the sequence. Oh thank you so much my sweet Susan. Oh let me just do the how do you guys store your sequins? I use this little things I think these are amazing I have the little white one that they sell I don't remember the name of it but the little containers are so small it's so hard to get to them so I just love 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 this ones because you can just remove them and you just open the little boxes and you have your little thingies and then you can lay them down or you can store them standing up so it saves a lot of space But I'm curious, how do you guys store your uh, sequins? Alrighty. Come on, flower. Alrighty, so I'm going to actually do something there later on because it's not working the way I want it.
Thank you, Nida. Yeah, I really love the storage. Thank you, Nancy. Yeah, I bought that, um, it's a white one. I, it was really, uh, everybody was going crazy for them. And I got them, but the little containers are so small that you barely have a way to get them out. So I didn't use that much, but I really like this. Guys, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today. I am so sorry, my life was really not the best, but it's the first one, so I'm going to work on the bus uh, uh, for the next ones, so we can have a better life. And then for my next tutorial, I'm gonna share with you how to make this little guy. He's so, so cute and super easy to make. And uh, thank you so, so much for being with me today, for spending some time with me. And uh, I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm sending you all, all my love. I hope that this time is not so difficult for you guys. And uh, let's keep crafting together so we can go through this and uh, just jump uh, the window. Thank you, thank you guys. It was so fun to be here with you. I'm going to have to say bye because <laughs> I have to let my parents out. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for being here and for spending the time with me. I'm going to post the winner for this giveaway soon and then um, I'll have you guys email me the winner so I can email you your prize. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Love you, love you, love you. And I hope to see you back here soon for my next video. Thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Love you guys. Mwah. I will, Nancy. It's so fun to just spend time with you and get to know you guys. Thank you, thank you. Have a great evening and I love you guys so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>